Ah, a leisurely hike, surrounded by nature. And who wouldn't want to be surrounded by this? We're here on the NCR Trail north of Baltimore, named for the Northern Central Railway. This old rail line is full of history. Things you see here date back to 1858. And the rocks and hills you walk by every day have a unique story to tell. We're going to talk a lot about hiking in the woods and about those rocks that always seem to be tilted, especially if your trail of choice is along the Appalachian Mountains, along the eastern region of North America. Mountains that were formed when the African continent collided with the North American continent, which scientists say took place 300 million years ago. And the Himalayan mountains were formed 50 million years ago. Our show today starts on an old railroad line with historical evidence spanning 160 years. We'll be taking you to a trail that's on a mountain range in Virginia that has that many years in the millions over the Grand Canyon. Our destination will be this ledge at an elevation of 3,100 feet. We're taking you to the hike of all hikes and the rocks along our way, well, think of them as nature's flight data recorder. A flight, a trip, a journey. 300 million years worth of recorded evidence standing silent in the woods right beside our feet. So if you're ready, grab your drinks, take some snacks, and remember it gets mighty slippery out here sometimes. Watch your step. It's time to get this hike started. By car or train, four and a half hours southwest of Washington, D.C. We're in Roanoke, Virginia on Highway 311 heading north. We'll be climbing a grade that takes us to a parking lot at an elevation of 2,000 feet. From there, it's just about a four mile hike up this mountain to Maccabee Knob, our destination. This area is part of the Appalachian mountain chain that runs from Newfoundland to Georgia to Northern Alabama. The Appalachian Trail is a continuous trail that stretches from Georgia to Maine. From our parking lot on Route 311, we'll be hiking on the trail, right along the backbone or spine of the mountain. Elevation-wise, we'll start at 2,000 feet. We'll end up at this ledge at 3,192 feet to the most photographed spot on the Appalachian Trail, McAfee Knob. Okay, here we go. Got about uh, 3.9 miles to go. Go from 2,000 feet to 3,170. Here we go. It's a pretty good trail. It's maintained by the Park Service. It's all the way uphill when we get there. Breathing just a little heavy, and it's downhill coming back. All right, we're uh, just begun. <laughs> um, there are a few places where you can look down the valley where we were driving just moments ago. Roanoke is behind a third ridge you see in the background.
We're making good progress, stopping to take photographs on the trail. The million dollar view is to the far right on this chart. And now a very vivid display of continents that collided some 300 million years ago. When Africa collided into North America, it buckled and pushed up the land, uplifting everything to heights that were higher than the Himalayas. That's 26,000 feet and higher. And the Grand Canyon wasn't even formed when all of this took place. And that is truly amazing. Um, we're all the time walking along the spine of the mountain. And these are, uh, or this is uh, evidence of the layers of the earth, but during the uplifting, you think of the layers of a cake, horizontal, and then if you were to push the center of the cake up, all the layers would go up to a point. This is millions of years ago, this is the layers of the earth um, pushed up. All these layers were like that. And then the ground got lifted up, up to like 3,000 feet from where they used to be flat in the ground. So this is really amazing stuff here. It's beautiful. And uh, here we go. Uh, we're about a half hour into this. And it's about an hour and a half hour to go. And it's a real nice trail. It's uh, pretty flat in here. There's times where you go downhill, then you go uphill a little bit, and you're, like I say, you're walking right on the spine of the mountain, and a little bit farther up there is the actual ridge, and we're actually just walking right up the ridge of Catawba Mountain, up to McAfee's Knob, and uh, it's really pretty. It pretty much is flat, but don't let it fool you. There's times where you go downhill and you have to watch the weight on your knees because you can really beat up your knees if you just flop downhill real lazy like. And then, of course, you know when you go uphill, you use using everything you have, but you should take water with you and not crackers because that's got salt, but I would take some, uh, anything maybe snacks, a little sugar boost cookies or something but uh, don't take chips crackers because uh, anything with salt would just make you sweat more going uphill now and that's part of it uphill and downhill and you're gradually going uphill more than anything else all right uh, we've got maybe the last 30 minutes to go but uh, this was just really neat to get uh, this tree has been uh, struck by lightning. Not sure whether the lightning bolt went up the tree or came down through it. I'll let a meteorologist uh, explain that, but this is definitely a lightning strike, I would say. I'm not sure where the rest of the tree is. I mean, there's pieces of tree here, but uh, safe to say, with a thunderstorm, the lightning hit this tree, maybe the rest of the tree exploded. I'm not sure, but uh, that's nature. I'm not really sure where the white sand comes from. <laughs> I mean, we've been to Baraka Island in the Philippines, known for its sandy white beaches, and we're at 3,000 feet elevation. Now, maybe this was an island at one time, and through uh, uplift. I mean, who knows, but it's just weird to see this white sand in a mountain. Well, this is the last part of the trip <laughs> of the hike. And this gets into the, uh, the main part of the climb here. Not too far. I've been saying that for the last half hour, but getting closer and the payoff will be when we get up here. Right now we're in the middle of a good climb. All right, we, uh, our target was to get up here at two. We'll be here shortly after two. We got uh, less than a mile. How you doing? Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm doing good too. 
So, we, uh, we are the world. The last 15 minutes we've been <laughs> steady. <laughs> yeah, we are the world. We started getting it uphill, and um, as you can see, we got to tilt the camera up. We'll uh, follow the trail up here, and we're not too far away from it. We're not too far away from it. Well, it's 2.30. Uh, there's not a whole lot of hill left because we see blue sky in the valley. We are getting close. It's been a steady uphill climb on this trail but uh, as we say getting closer and now okay a big surprise who brought this big rock up here these rocks or boulders are from the collision of continents they are 300 million years old who brought this big rock up here actually I don't think it's just a rock I think it's part of the ground and this rock there's one two three more Yep. <laughs> well, that's either a rock or part of the, you know, part of the ground when it came up yeah. from the uplifting. The, uh, but it's we're 20 feet from the top. You can tell you're getting near the top because the trees are about 10 feet tall. Winter up here is very harsh. The wind is very harsh. <coughs> so the the entire forest is about 10 feet high. I mean, here's the top of the tree. <laughs> so, but, uh, you're at 3,000 feet. Uh, 50 mile an hour winds at 17 degrees Fahrenheit is, uh, that's cold in the wintertime. So, and it's mostly uh, trees that can survive the winter, but the forest is about 10 feet tall. Oh. Break is over. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we are here. Welcome to McAfee's Knob. Wow. Look out here. this doesn't get to you nothing else will when you think about where you've been in your life where you're going what you've accomplished the uphills and downhill battles you've had if you don't feel lucky for being here well we missed the boat in making that point as for Louis he gets to see another part of the United States he hasn't seen before and after moving 8,100 miles from Manila to Maryland and now he's in Virginia I think it was only fitting for him to do yoga he wanted to do yoga at elevation 3192. We hope you've enjoyed our walk up to McAfee Knob. In this part of Virginia, it's called McAfee Knob. Out of towners call it McAfee Knob. And for me, in all of the years I've lived in Roanoke, it's always been McAfee Knob. We have a three-hour downhill walk to the car. Thank you for watching, and watch your step.